move on to to his impact on um, secular culture and, and, and the way in which Christians engage with Hume. The, the one sentence in your book really struck me when you wrote, um, the credibility of Christianity lies upon the refutation of Hume's critique of supernaturalism. Uh, and I, I just wanted to, to cash that out a little bit. Do, do, do you think therefore that all Christians need to, to know and be able to reproduce that, that critique? I think that would be asking too much of, of most Christians. I mean, the reality is that many Christians will not have to engage with a Humean critique of Christianity, although it will be there in the background, and it doesn't hurt to be aware of where some of the, um, the, the, the modern skepticism that they encounter today has, has its roots. Um, but I do think that while Hume isn't the first word or the last word uh, in, in critiques of Christianity in particular, religion in general, um, he's definitely up there in the top three in terms of names that will be offered when um, the idea that, that Christianity is no, no longer intellectually credible is, is put forward. That uh, Hume's critique of natural theology, of the arguments for the existence of God, of his um, uh, celebrated but um, <laughs> much overrated uh, argument against miracles and miracle claims is, is widely cited. I mean, there are many people who will say that, 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 that Hume, Hume's argument is decisive uh, against the credibility of miracle claims. And uh, to, to a lesser extent, his attempt to offer naturalistic alternatives to religion, so a naturalistic basis for morality, a naturalistic explanation for uh, religious beliefs. Um, all of these, if, if Christians aren't being directly confronted with Hume's arguments, they are, uh, they are dealing with the, the, um, the, the tremors uh, that, that have been caused by them. And so it helps to, first of all, understand the source, um, to understand where these ideas are coming from, and, and, and have a basic idea of what a, what a Christian response ought to be.